Hi, Tom here. Welcome back to the channel. In this, I'm going to show you how to add Notion as your database for your Django app. This is really easy to do and really cool because by adding Notion, you get to edit all your and view all your data in Notion. And that means you can update the data that your Django app is using really easily. We'll be following the guide that I wrote, link in the description below. And there's also another guide and video here about how to add Google Sheets also as a database to Django. Anyway, we'll be using Notion and let's get into it. Great, so here we are on the written article. Let's get into it. And we're gonna go and copy this to set up our Django project and then paste in that we'll in to install the necessary packages and then set up the Django project map. You'll see it pop up here, core and sim. And then we're gonna go into core as is standard and add sim here to register our new app, which we're calling a sim. Okay, so section one, we're going to add your Notion API key to the Django project. So we need to go to the Notion integration page and click new integration, and which is here, and create new integration. Make sure you get the right Notion page there. We'll call this big, and then click submit. And then we want to go to capabilities here, just for testing, and go read user information, including email address. You can change this later, but we're adding it to test the API easily. So save that. It's saved. I go back to secrets, show, and copy this. This is our key, essentially, our password, so be careful with that. Now we're going to come back here and go to core, and then create a new file in here called .env. If we go back to our instructions here, and we want to copy this, paste that in, and then add our token into there, which we've just got. So here's the token, copy that, and copy that in. Okay, now we're going to add the following lines into our settings file to load the environment variables. So up to the top of our settings file, here we are. So this will load these securely when our Django app runs. And now we're going to test the connection to our Notion API. So let's in our shell. So go into here, terminal, and then Python, Python manage.py shell. And then we want to, we can paste this in. Yeah, perfect. So that shows us all the data that we expect. And this is just a test that we won't use this in production. This is just a test that our API connection works. If you get 403, then you probably haven't followed the instructions correctly and you've probably not given yourself the permission. So just go back and try again or drop me a message if you have any difficulty. Section two, let's create our Notion database to Django. So we want to go to our database. So go to Notion. So create your database here and then we can just go new database. And then we're going to go these three here and then go add connections. And you see I've got Big Baboon here because that's the name of my integration, but you'll probably need to search for it. It normally doesn't show unless you search for it. Big Baboon and then enable. Now the integration has access to this database. Great. And so now let's add our Notion database ID to the Django project. So copy this as well. Go, go to our .env file, paste that in. And now we need to find our it says token here, but find our ID for our Notion database. And the easiest way, there's an instru instructions here and a link here, but the easiest way is to go to share and then copy the link. So go here and then go share, copy the link here. And if we come back here, the database ID is here. So before this query parameter called V and after this slash. This is that it seems a bit odd, but this is the easiest way I've found to do it so far. So paste that in like that. And like I said, oddly, there's no clear way with the API to list all the databases, but that's a quirk. Okay, now let's test our database connection again. So copy all this again and then go back into. Okay, copy it in here. If you get this error, that's probably you need to probably need to refresh it. So create a new, so create a new shell with Python manage.py shell, type this in. And there you go, there's all the data. Like I said, it's really important to have a new shell that's needed to load the new environment variable that you've just added in here for your database. And as you can see, there's nothing in it yet. Now let's render our Notion data in a Django template. So we'll create a Django template, go create our URLs. So go to sim and then copy this and create a URLs file in sim here. So urls.py, paste this in. We'll create this index in a second, this view. And now we'll copy this as well and go to core URLs, paste it over. You see that's connecting to our sim. And now we're going to create a template here. So we'll create a new directory called templates. 
create a file and copy this in. So let's just copy this here now. Now we go back to sim, create a new folder called templates and create a new file inside called index.html and then paste what we copied in. As you can see, we've got some styling here and then rows of data, which we're then rendering. And now we need to update our view to send the API data as context. So copy this and then go to sim views. Here's that index view I mentioned. As you can see, it's accessing, doing a query to get our particular ID, to get our particular database using the ID that we got earlier, and then rendering that data as context into our HTML template. Okay, and now we can run the server. So go back, create a new terminal, delete that, and then python manage.py run server. That runs as we'd expect. That looks good. We've got nothing in our database yet, so that's all good. And now let's add some data to our database. And so you can add whatever fields you want. It's completely flexible, but you'll need to update your template to match the names of the fields. So uh, yeah, feel free to add your own, but I'm going to follow these. So we're going to add a name, photo, role, description, and profile to the Notion database. Here's the date. And make sure you've got the right fields. So title, file, rich text, rich text URL. So let's do that. So we've got, uh, let's call that name and then let's just uh, we'll add one called so text that is let's get rid of that we don't want this so what are they called name photo role description profile id so we create a photo and we're going to make sure that is a of of type file this is critical otherwise you won't be able to upload anything uh, this to role Remove it there if you like. Create another one called description. And then create another one called profile ID, which is URL type. So create the profile. And then I'll change that type to URL there. Great. And now let's add some data. I wonder if I'd like to, to meet you. And now a photo. Let's add a photo, which I'll upload. Tom face. And I should say the smaller the better here because it will take more time to load. There I am. Okay, and now let's go back to our server. And there I am. Perfect. And then you can add, if you get, if you add another row, if you get the sort of thing, if you get results like this, that's just because there's an empty row, you could, of course, add some logic to Django to prevent that. Yeah, and then move through, add multiple. Um, Michael Hendo. You can see instant refresh and yeah, really, really easy to update your data. Data, and then you can just take it from there, build this into whatever you want. And also the ability to upload files this easily is really cool, I think. Yeah. So congrats, we're done. As you can see, this is a really easy way to add a database, simple and really easy to update and edit to your Django app. If you want to build your Django product even faster, check out a product that I'm building, as well as link below to my mailing list for all the free content regarding Django and programming generally that I'm making. Besides that, I'm making videos weekly. Here are a few more. All the best to you.